Manas AI just solved the biggest problem in business automation. Instead of automating simple tasks, it automates complex thinking and strategic work. You can now automate competitor research, content design, and even campaign planning from end to end. Today, I'm showing you exactly how this works, and I'll walk you through six real-world examples that prove that we've entered a completely new era of what one person can accomplish. And if that sounds interesting to you, then be sure to hit that subscribe button because I share videos like this one all the time. So let's dive in. So here's what makes Manu's AI different from other AI tools that you've used. ChatGPT and Gemini gives you answers, but Manu's AI actually does it work for you. When you're logged into Manus, you basically have three options below the chat. One is adaptive, where Manus decides if you'll get an answer or an agentic execution. The second is agent mode for multi-step processes. And then obviously you have the chat for simple questions and answers. And then you also have the possibility to connect Manus to all of your apps. You just go to settings, connectors, and here you will be able to see what kind of apps are at the moment integrated, or you can obviously set up your own API. Another feature which is great to utilize is knowledge, where you're able to add up until 20 sources, and then you can refer back to these sources whenever you give Manus a prompt. On the main dashboard, you immediately have suggestions for tasks that Manus can execute for you, and whenever you click on one like image, you immediately have suggestions which will give you inspiration uh, to see if this is what you're looking for. And also when you click on slides, you can pick the amount of slides that should be generated. The first thing that I wanted to show you is how this transforms your prospecting process. Most people research potential prospects by manually browsing through websites and putting them into a spreadsheet. And with Manos AI, you can just give it this one simple prompt. I want to find out what software companies and marketing agencies recently raised funding and if they need growth marketing content strategy or a customer acquisition help. So apart from being able to see exactly what steps Manus is taking here on screen, I can also see in general the way how he structured the task. That first he's searching for funding rounds, then he's gonna filter the companies, research communication, and then he will analyze which one of those have growth marketing needs and uh, come up with a report for me. As a result of the research, I need to get four top target companies that are looking for marketing help. Now I can check out the report and here I immediately see what industry this company is, where they're located specifically, what kind of growth marketing needs they actually have. He even included the contact details for one of the companies. So just this step alone saves me already a ton of time. And as a next step, you can always take a look at the suggested follow-ups where he already comes up with the suggestion to draft personalized outreach. So leveraging this type of information for an outbound email campaign completely changes the game. The second thing that I wanted to show you is competitor intelligence. Most competitor research is quite surface level. You check out their website, their social posts, and maybe write down some notes about what you notice. And Manos AI can run deep competitive intelligence. I want to research ConvertKit, which is the email platform, and I want to get to know more about their pricing, what their customers are saying, and also recent updates that they had in their team. Now I can see how it pulls up the website and scrapes the information. And what I love about this is how thorough the search is because I can exactly see what kind of websites it's accessing also on Reddit or YouTube videos. So first I actually get a whole summary about the company that it was founded in 2013 by Nathan Berry. I get an overview of the price analysis. And very recently there was a price hike by 35% and a lot of customers are reacting negatively about it. I mean, after all, it's quite a significant jump. I also see that overall it actually doesn't have great ratings. So if I wanted to get in touch with ConvertKit, I can immediately ask them about the rollout of the new pricing, how that's going for them. And if I'm a competitor in the space, I can immediately leverage that information and approach some of the customers and check if they want to switch to my tool because of the recent price increase. Use case number three is content creation at scale. Creating a month worth of content used to mean brainstorming, designing, creating captions and scheduling. Now watch what happens when I use this prompt. I want to get an analysis of the top performing B2B content trends from the last month. And then out of that, Mana should create 20 ready to publish designs for a marketing agency that can be used across LinkedIn campaigns. First, I actually want to see what kind of files he created for me. And when I check the visual reference material, I can actually see what kind of guidelines he followed. 
and why he applied certain colors. So let's take a look at the designs. So he organized them by a series. So the first one is quite okay, definitely fits the typical B2B style. Then there's a myth versus reality post. Here I already see that the branding and the text is a little bit different. I mean, this graphic is also just generally very sophisticated. And I feel like he follows a couple of different styles, like this green background he uses multiple times, or the dark blue and orange is also a theme that is recurring. And it's absolutely crazy because just like that, I immediately have 20 ready designs. Now, most of the time I would definitely specify my main branding colors and my font so that it's consistent. But overall, this still gives me huge leverage. And this Manus also has a Google Drive integration. You can just hit download, save to Google Drive. And this way, the file will immediately show up there and you'll easily stay organized. Use case number four, and that's one of my personal favorite ones, is website building. Often at times you would need coding skills in order to create a professional website within a day. And what I really like about Manos is that it actually can design really nice and professional looking websites, as opposed to tools like Claude or Gemini, where you would need way more prompting in order to get a really nice design. So here's what you can do. I want to clone Notion's product page layout, and I want to basically adjust it for a project management tool that's targeting creative agencies. So the website is complete. I can see that Manos fully came up with the branding. It even created a logo and the name of the company for me. And now when I check it out, this is actually insanely impressive. That's just from one prompt. All of the animations seem to be working. There are product pictures attached, testimonials, all of the integrations that the tool has. I can immediately book a demo. I mean, this is, crazy, crazy good. Now, if I want to change something like here, there seems to be an error. I can just hit edit and ask for a quick change at the logo in here. And then I see how Manus actually starts thinking and working on fixing this. So now it says that it actually fixed the footer section, but I still see the white box showing up. So I'd probably just have to screenshot it and show him that it's still not fixed. But overall, when I take a look at the website, it's just so easy to customize as well things because I can just hit on tweak here and change out the text here. So I can add now, hit finish, and it immediately shows up. So just when I think about all the details of the website and the speed of what he created it and all of the animations that are working is insanely impressive. And publishing this website just basically takes hitting one button and you can also change the subdomain of it, which is a pro feature. But as it is just so easy to build and publish it, I think it definitely makes sense to get it if you need one. And what I find so powerful about this is you can basically take any website that you want and copy their structure and make it yours in no time and basically have something up and running within an hour. Use case number five is SEO and technical audits. SEO audits are like going to the dentist. Everyone knows that they need it, but no one actually wants to deal with it. The technical part can be overwhelming and most people either ignore it or they pay someone else a couple of thousands to figure it out for them. And here's the move that is super simple. I want to compare the SEO performance of two different productivity tools, and that is Basecamp versus Trello. And additionally, I obviously want to get an actionable plan on how to fix the gaps. So Manus provided multiple different reports, a general executive summary, a comparative analysis where I get immediately a ton of data, like monthly visits of both companies, I can see that Trello ranks over 10 times better than Basecamp. I even get information about the user engagement where I'd be very curious where he actually gets it from and how accurate that is. So it's just completely wild how detailed this report actually is. It even includes geographic strengths. And now if I wanna take a look at the actionable recommendations, he suggests to develop a template library for Basecamp and as well a multi-language SEO strategy. And just the detail of his suggestions are absolutely wild. I get so specific information like Trello has a strong presence in Brazil, Japan, and non other English speaking countries. Just compiling all of this myself would take me so much time. So I see that he overall created multiple different documents for me. So I could just like immediately download them, also import them back into the knowledge folder if I wanted to continue using them and referring back if I were to actually implement his suggestions. Use case number six is event and campaign automation. So if you need to run a webinar super quickly, then this will be interesting for you. 
I want to get all the assets that I need for a webinar with the title, how to scale your SaaS with content marketing that should include the registration page and all the necessary emails. I'm actually super curious to see what exactly Manus did in order to tackle this task, as it's quite a complex one with a lot of things involved. So I see that he actually created the landing page. He added the speaker, he even added some psychological triggers so that people see that this is a really popular webinar. He tested if the registration works. And then he also created a thank you page, designed all the emails, set up all of the automations and tested and deployed, which is absolutely wild how fast it went. So now if I wanna take a look at his emails, thanks for attending, that's great. It's a reminder email, which is also great. And then I still would like to see if the registration page works. So this is the URL, which looks actually really good. The thank you page looks super nice. And now I can even check if the Google Calendar integration works. And yes, this is all super smooth. Obviously the webinar link is not added yet, but apart from that, it's crazy how good he set this up. And when I take a look at the rest, I even see what kind of architecture he used to set up the whole webinar, how the project structure looks like. Overall, this is just absolutely crazy how fast this went and what kind of possibilities this overall opens up. And this strategic advantage is huge. You can take the same system and also deploy it for product launches, partnership announcement, or any other communication. One more thing that I wanted to show you is that you can actually find even more use cases when you click on playbook. And here you will find a bunch of templates that are actually built by the Manos community that are pretty wild, like the Chrome extension builder, an interior designer, a slide generator, which can be super helpful. I even recently did a color analysis, which was really fun. And the exciting part is that there are new ones being built continuously. So feel free to check this section now and then. Manus has a free version where you can basically automate one task per day. So you can experiment and check what the best use case is for you. And if you want to master Manus, I've put together a guide with over 20 prompts that you can just copy and paste immediately. It's free and you can find it in the link in the description below. And if this video shifted how you can leverage AI in your business, then be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Also be sure to check out my GenSpark video next. GenSpark is another AI agent that's completely changing how we approach content creation and research. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.